So what is Sitecore pipeline? It is series of actions which execute in sequence to achieve an objective. So there are number of actions which, which get executed uh, in the sequence to achieve something it's, it's called as a uh, pipeline. Okay. So in Sitecore we have some actions which execute in the sequence and which achieve something. So that is called Sitecore pipeline. The actions which are getting uh, executed uh, by is called processor. So what is processor? Processor is a .NET class that implements a method. Okay, so it is a class which implements some action that is called a processor. So action which is which are getting executed, it's called a processes. Processes is nothing but the action which is getting executed, and it is sequence. The sequence is defined using the XML. Okay, so action is your process. The class which is that action is executed for your processor. The sequence is defined in your XML. Okay, and overall, whatever this class is getting, that action is executing, it is your objective. What we want to pro, want to uh, achieve. Okay, so uh, pipelines are used to control the most of the sitecore functionality. The sitecore are based on the pipelines only, so it is most of the uh, functionalities are controlled by the sitecore pipeline. And part of a basic architecture of our sitecore, so it is a basic architecture of the sitecore. And these pipelines can be modified by using a patch file. So you can add, apply the patch files to modify your, or you to write a custom logic. So this is called as a uh, sitecore pipelines. So this is the basic of a sitecore pipelines.